I'm Howard Hale with the Horseman's Corner, bringing you useful information from people involved with the world of horses. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. With the problems we've had with the COVID virus, it just emphasizes how much we need the Internet to do business. And more and more business is being done in both the horse and the cattle industry and related industries over the Internet. So if you don't have a really good Internet presence and a good place to house your website or to advertise your website, go to agsearch.us. You can get it on there. be a great place for you, agsearch.us. That's agsearch.us. Christy Plute has the Lame Dog Ranch at Platteville, Colorado. Boards a lot of horses over the winter and also been a trainer for the last 20 years. Puts on some clinics as well. What's one of the biggest mistakes you see people making when they deal with their horses, Christy? The one that just comes to mind first off is they're not dogs. We have such a uh, relationship with them, and especially when they're young and and we're trying to get to know them and they get to hand-feeding them and um, they're kind of pets. Well, a 1,000-pound pet or a 1,200-pound pet, they get to push in and we don't realize how dangerous these animals are. They'll do anything for you in the right situation, but a lot of times we kind of spoil them too much. We're getting out of their way. Uh, I see a lot of people get hurt on the ground more than I see them get hurt under saddle. And that's because they've let the horse become too pushy? Is that right? Exactly. Plotville, Colorado horsewoman Christy Plute, who deals with a lot of problem horses in her business, but that's probably not correct. I probably should say that she deals with a lot of problem horse owners. Well, thanks for joining us for the Horseman's Corner. Always great to have you along. May God bless. Join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.